Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 6. So what happened in the previous episode is that Rush felt a bit alone because Howard is in the space at the moment so Rush have no one to hang out with basically. So yeah, he tried to chill out with Amy and Sheldon, obviously everything went wrong because it was their anniversary and Amy got really upset about it and then Rush tried to chill with Leonard and Penny and Leonard was like no get the hell out of here because me and Penny trying to sort our things our relationship as I remember he tried to hang out with Stuart so yes yeah, Stuart slowly coming into the picture so hopefully he's gonna join the group because I kind of like him you know <laughs> it's just an extra flavor to the group which is really good so yeah and I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talk in guys let's Let's get started. I gotta get back to work. I love you. Love you too. Hey, Bernie, before you go, can you do something for me? Okay, here it is. <laughs> I really miss gravity. Can you drop something so I can fall? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> wow. Oh, baby, you're killing me. <laughs> You're gonna experience that soon, so don't worry. This came for you today. It's from your mom. Oh, thank Ooh. you, Penny. Yeah, wait, here. <laughs> for your troubles. It's journals and research papers I wrote as a child. Oh, Ooh, how cute. that's interesting. Is this like a diary? Why do you need all of this no, no, stuff? No, no, no. Yeah, I am glad you asked. Oh. Yeah, are you familiar with the Higgs boson? <laughs> Of course, it is. It's been in the news, and it's a very famous boson. Yeah. <laughs> For Dr. Peter Higgs, accomplished self-promoter and physicist, he wrote a paper postulating the existence of a subatomic particle called the Higgs boson. Now, the paper was rejected, but recently he was proven right, and now he's on the fast track to win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, that's oh. basically what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, the Penny. Just is with the different words. For... So that got me thinking. Yeah, perhaps I've already hit upon the idea that will win me my Nobel Prize. I didn't know That's they true. Gave Nobel prizes for making boom boom into potty. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Really? So you're gonna spend hours and hours combing through all this stuff? No, well, perhaps I should find someone to do it for me. You know, someone with a rudimentary understanding of science, but whose real talents lie in menial labor. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Leonard! <laughs> Not gonna happen. Yeah, well, if I didn't it's gonna pay you, maybe. It, I wouldn't be asking. <laughs> if you want help, just hire a grad student. Maybe I could do it. Really? You can assess the quality of my work. Okay, um, here. I wrote this when I was five years old. A proof that algebraic topology can never have a non self contradictory set of abelian groups. I think it would be really hard to you, so you better say no. I'm just a blonde monkey to you, aren't I? <laughs> you said it, not me. He thought about it. He thought about it. All right, Ms. Jensen. Uh, before we begin, Ooh, he's actually going to find, water, not find, coffee, hire tea, like an assistant. A marijuana cigarette. So I see here you're from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, you're summa cum laude in theoretical physics from Stanford University. Oh, and two years ago, you had a persistent ear infection. I hope that didn't cause any hearing loss. No, of course not. How did you know about that? <laughs> well, I did a comprehensive background check. You did medical records, credit reports, criminal history. I trust you paid off those parking tickets. Yes, I did. Hearing unimpaired, good. <laughs> Look, Dr. Cooper, I really want this position. It would be an incredible honor to work for a man of your brilliance. Y flattery will not get you this job, Miss Jensen. It's not flattery if it's the truth. Oh. Well, thank you. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Easy, you hired. Hey, Sheldon, hope you're hungry. The serving macaroni and cheese. This is it. <laughs> Mute. Smooth. <laughs> Sheldon, aren't you going to introduce us? No, I have people for that now. You're up. <laughs> I'm Alex, Dr. Cooper's new assistant. Ah, congratulations, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I'm Leonard, this is Raj. 
nice to meet you. I'm so excited to be working with you. But to be yeah, honest, if you're going to have this on your CV that you work for Sheldon yeah, yeah, in their world, be no I'm thinking yeah. it's pretty cool. I should probably get to work. And also get to see the nice. big hey, brain in girlfriend. progress. I dibs. <laughs> All I said was, she seems nice. Yeah, well, I love her. <laughs> Want to have babies? And big wedding. Hey, I wasn't expecting to hear from you today. Everything okay? Uh, oh, no, he's losing really. it. <laughs> he looks like he's losing it. <laughs> Shall I use capsule they were sending to bring us home? Uh -huh. It's delayed. We're going to be here at least another week, maybe 10 days. It's the Russians, so you don't know. Oh, poor Howard. They left dogs up here in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> Zero gravity is giving me crazy acid reflux. I'm down to my last three toms. Gonna be fine. You survived that Weight Watchers cruise with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and they ran out of low-fat ice cream on day two. What am I doing? I'm using up all the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. If I die, I promise you'll never have sex with another man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a man eater now. Hell yeah. Okay, for the final touch, this is an eyelash curler. Looks like something used by Tinkerbell's gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling? I'm going to video chat Sheldon. If my new look leads to phone sex, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the room. <laughs> Office. Ooh. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, I'm yeah. Alex. Amy gonna Dr. be like, what Cooper's the hell? Can I help you? All right. Well, tell him Amy called. Last name? He knows my last name. I'm his girlfriend. We have a contract and everything. I'll send you a PDF. <laughs> Sick, I'm telling you the truth. All right. I will tell him you called. Sheldon told me he had a new assistant named Alex. He didn't mention that Alex was a girl. Maybe he didn't notice. <laughs> True. You're right. I don't have to worry about Sheldon. No, you do not. It's her I have to worry about. Oh, <laughs> Amy, really, she is not going to come on to Sheldon. Look at this face. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> How can any woman spend eight hours a day alone with this face and not fall in love with it? Well, for starters, at some point, that face starts talking. I'm just going to bully you. <laughs> this is crazy. You have nothing to be suspicious about. I'm not suspicious. I just want to stop in, say hi to my boyfriend, and meet his new assistant. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> that was really loud entrance, Amy. <laughs> what? Ew, Amy. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm spreading my scent to mark my territory. Don't lick random stuff, it's disgusting. Really? Because just before you became my best friend, I did this all over your apartment. Has your uh, assistant That's said That's disgusting. About Two cherries. One on top, one on the bottom. Stems removed. Uh, top one, yes, I didn't check the one on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's screwed. I'm so sorry, Dr. Cooper. It's all right, Alex. I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Alex, do you want to join us? Um, do we, Alex, a moment. I need a word with Dr. Hofstadter. Do you think it's appropriate for her to sit with us, given her station? <laughs> if I've learned anything from British television shows on PBS, it's that servants dine downstairs with their own kind. <laughs> oh, come on, what? she's still a human. <laughs> oh, sure. Please join us. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So, Alex, what's the topic of your dissertation? I'm looking for Trojan asteroids at Earth's L5 Lagrange point. Oh, that happens to be Dr. Kuthrapali's field of expertise. You two have a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> he threw you under the bus. Good luck. <laughs> He's just gonna walk away. <laughs> Oh, I think he's actually just gonna like walk right. away. No. <laughs> it's okay, I've been around scientists all my life. My dad's an astronomer at SETI. Oh, SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. You should introduce him to Sheldon. The search is over. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. I had nothing to worry about. That skank's your problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny, Dr. Hofstadter. Oh, thank you. Jerry's dead! Jerry's dead! Oh, no. <laughs> How you doing, Howie? You feeling a little better? Oh, a lot. 
better. <laughs> Thanks. One sec. Listen close, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> oh my god, please send him back. To my house. In my bedroom, you'll find a model rocket. I want you to take it and bring it back to your place. <laughs> Build a version roughly 14 stories high. <laughs> Fill it full of rocket fuel and come get me. I'll leave the door unlocked. Gosh, this is crazy. Oh, honey, maybe you should talk to someone. Let them know you're having a little anxiety. No, no, I'm fine. No anxiety. This is crazy how the space, you know, messing in with your brain. Look at you. To be just there. But I don't know if I would survive. Yeah, everything's fine. Really? I don't know how much you know about primate behavior, but Sheldon's assistant was clearly courting Leonard. Okay, maybe she was flirting with him, but who cares? Look, I don't even know where my relationship is with Leonard right now. But meanwhile, the limbic system of your brain is calculating that if another woman is attracted to Leonard, it must be because he's desirable. He's smart, he's sweet, and in the bedroom, whew, let me tell you, he really tries. <laughs> so it does bother you. Fine, it bothers me a little. Maybe more, no, just you know, a little. It's stupid. Doesn't bother me. Okay, it bothers me. <laughs> Because you, you love him. And there you have it. Prefrontal cortex reasoning versus limbic lust. If this were a boxing match, they might call it the thriller adjacent to the amygdala. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a brain scientist, you would be busting a guy right now. <laughs> Sat to heim like a cherry stem out of Sheldon. <laughs> Caught Raj right in the eye. You're kidding. No, Raj had to go to the nurse. Wow. Ooh. Anything else? Mm, the nurse is a woman, so he couldn't talk to her. She had to bring him a Grover puppet so he could point at what hurt. <laughs> oh, is that it? Isn't that enough? <laughs> it's too many events. The puppet. What more do you want? <laughs> Looks oh, like a great day. Here. Science news. This will interest you. And uh, Penny, feel free to paint your nails. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Penny. Alex, uh, do you work with Dr. Hofstadter? In a way. Just say that you're his girlfriend. So we've kind of been involved in a five-year experiment. Oh, well, you're lucky. He seems very talented, and I'm sure a lot of people want to work with him. Oh, well, a lot of people can't. <laughs> Where are we going? My limbic system wants to take your pants off. <laughs> she seems nice. Notice people on your own time. We're working. Hey, Howie, how you feeling? Better. Much better. The other astronauts held me down, gave me a shot. No. <laughs> Attention, people of Earth. Tonight, there will be two moons in the sky. No, Howard. Stop that. NASA's watching this. Put your pants back on. Whee. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> so good. Howard's capsule should be re entering Ooh, the yes, atmosphere. Yes, Stuart any is minute. here. It'd be good to have him back. The Fantastic Four reunited. <laughs> Man, you had a good run, fake Wallowitz. <laughs> no, don't, don't kick him out. You. We're not kicking him out. Stuart and I have become good friends. I don't have a problem with Stuart. Besides, it gives us a 20% discount at his comic book store. <laughs> well, I don't sell my friendship that cheaply. I can go 30. You're welcome aboard, old chap. <laughs> Howard's final descent has begun. Ooh. He left a boy. He returned. Are we gonna see like a sized hero? I don't know. A live stream. Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. What's that? The Jewish prayer for eating bread. <laughs> we don't have one for falling out of space. Gosh, they'll be terrifying. <laughs> We're on the ground. We survived. <laughs> that was just a parachute. We still have another six miles to go. Oh God. <gasps> Oh, that's the guy! Thank that's you. the guy I just nice noticed! <laughs> uh, I think they're here for me, Ringo. <laughs> he what? He's like, gosh, not X Factor? This is, this is America Got Talent? No? Yeah? One of those? That nut job was telling everybody on the plane he's an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> because he is! <laughs> I missed you too. Oh, finally he's back. <laughs> Where are the guys? No, I told them they could have you tomorrow night. Tonight, you belong to me. Ooh. <gasps> oh, no. 
Bernie, you <laughs> eel. You okay? I am now that you're back. Come on, let's go home so I can tear off those little pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am very disappointed that I won't be able to celebrate Howard's accomplishment tonight. In all the years I've known him, he's never had the opportunity to receive my admiration. <laughs> I was excited to see the look on his face when it finally happened. You're unbelievable. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pictionary. What are the teams? He's How about aware of that. Girls? Oh, that hardly seems fair. Yeah, but I guess any team that I'm not on has a decided disadvantage. <laughs> Here. Got it. Okay. Ready, set, go. Batman. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? Looks a like a twins plus box the on the penny side. Wonder Twins plus the monkey and Batman. <laughs> a gift, a present! Present! Yeah! Good! Yeah, good drawing, Penny. In what universe is that a present? It's not a present, it's the present. Look, there's you and me, and it's Penny. Amy. Oh my it god. Pictionary in oh, the you got it wrong, Sheldon. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we're gonna kill them. <laughs> You're gonna smash them. It's a quark glue on plasma. <laughs> Nothing with quarks. Mm, it looks it's like pizza. It's an rebuttal of the Lambda CDM model of the universe. <laughs> no. It's a chocolate chip cookie, yes! No. Okay, good. If you want someone to guess chocolate chip cookie, you draw a glass of milk next to it. Well, Penny got it. Penny got it. Yeah. yeah. After I eliminated all the obvious answers. <laughs> Once again, unbelievable. Oh, 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 a hot dog. Penny, what else can it be? Something? Relax, we got time. This is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna be something there. super simple. What, like a dart? Now? Soon. <laughs> Come on, Leonard. Okay, sausage, solar system, and a dead person. Uh, hand, uh, nail, uh, polish? Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it took me like two seconds. And the word is Polish. See, look. Polish sausage. This is Madame Curie killing herself by discovering radium, who, although she was a naturalized French citizen, was Polish by birth. Oh God, that's so complicated. <laughs> Excuse me, the word is Polish. See? Small p. Oh. <laughs> you got it wrong, So Charlotte. it is. Uh, I guess we both share blame on this one. Bernie, you okay? Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't sound good. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, <laughs> she's looking so ill. Sweetie, we don't have to do this now. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Hold on to your hat. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> you okay? No. Aww. Kiss me. What? Yeah. <laughs> she, and she fell asleep. Oh, poor thing. That was amazing. <laughs> Just go with it, Howard. Just let you her made sleep. Me feel things I know. Well, that was quick and a little gross. <laughs> I know how she feels. <laughs> I am not a loser. Pictionary uh, is not a true dimes. test of any real intelligence or skill. Well, in all fairness, Pictionary has verbal skills, visual skills. It's a pretty well-rounded game. A lot of big talk from a man who can't draw a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. Pick another game. Amy and I will beat you at anything. Let's play... Physics Fiesta. Oh, come on. What is that? It's a game that I just invented in which the <laughs> participants answer physics no questions in ever gonna Spanish. win. No, no, we're not playing some dumb made up game. All right, let's keep it simple. How about darts? No, that's not fair either. Why not? Darts is a bar game. You've been frequenting drinking establishments since you were of legal age. <laughs> 
But regardless, she has a distinct advantage in all tavern-based competitions. The pool, beer pong, wet t-shirt contest, they're all out. Okay. <laughs> just for the record, I have never entered a wet t-shirt contest. I've won a few, but that's just because I spill when I'm drunk. <laughs> we could go to the cadaver lab at UCLA and play real life operation. Mm, don't think so. <laughs> Sure. I mean, the nose doesn't light up, but if the corpse is fresh enough, sometimes you can get the leg to jerk. <laughs> hey, Ma! Twinkle, twinkle! Your little star is home! Ooh. Howard? I thought I wasn't going to see you till tomorrow! Uh, okay, hold on, I'm not decent! This woman hasn't tied her robe in 20 years. Suddenly she's not decent? <laughs> you want me to hide in the closet or go out the back? What? You need to whisper! Uh, nobody, the TV is on. <laughs> she no, was having fun. fun. Nice. Good for her. If you're busy, I can come back. Just give me a second. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and for the record, they can't whisper. Hello. Dr. Schneider? Oh. Who is that? Hello, Howard. What are you doing here? Um, house call. <laughs> You're a dentist. <laughs> so? Yes. I think he's on to us! <laughs> okay, glasses off. Find Waldo. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there he is! I got him! Yes! Oh, yes! Girls are smashing How it! How could you not find him? Because he's hard to find. <laughs> if he was easy to find, the books would be called There's Waldo! <laughs> 57, 58, oh God. 59, that's one minute. Remember, show your work. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Get up, we can't lose in math. 37! Yes! God, well done, Penny. Ready, so good. Set, wrestle. gonna get to see you until tomorrow yeah well bernadette's a little under the weather and my mom's kind of under my dentist <laughs> <laughs> so you're wandering all around by yourself that's not the kind of hero's welcome an astronaut should come home to space cowboys don't do <laughs> what we do for glory and fame <gasps> oh, hello hey, man. welcome back oh Stuart, thanks <laughs> What are you doing here? I, I kind of live here now. Uh, just until he gets back on his feet. Which are looking pretty good in the boots I bought him for his birthday. Aww. Uh, he's spoiling me and I love it. <laughs> he's how we're gonna get jealous. Like, he doesn't have a girlfriend, I don't have a girlfriend. It's like we both had these holes in our lives, but now we fill each other's holes. Raj. Sometimes I like when you're quiet. <laughs> Sounds a little funny to an American ear. Okay, so what do you guys got going on tonight? Raj is taking me to the Sound of Music sing-along. <laughs> sound of Music sing-along. It used to be our thing, but that's cool. Oh. Oh. Howard, it's still a thing. No, no, you guys go. Have fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, will I get to see you tomorrow? Absolutely. Let's see it, Stuart. Yeah, yeah. No. Is he taller? <laughs> My mother made her boyfriend climb out the window. <laughs> Standard state fair pie eating contest rules are no hands, first one to clean the pan wins. Three, eat! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey guys, guess who's back from space? Stop Not now! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Howard! <laughs> Throw it down and keep eating. <laughs> you look familiar. I don't think so. Yeah, I just saw you on the news. You're an astronaut. 
Yes. Ooh, so <laughs> yes, I recognize I him. Good. How about a piece of cheesecake on the house? Oh, thank you so much. I've been having the worst night. I just got back, and my friends don't care. My wife's sick. I went to you my mom. You want the cheesecake or not? <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. Just eat the cheesecake. Yes, no, no, man, I think I am at home. Oh, no, oh, no. I'm a rocket man. <laughs> <laughs> no! He got Perfect. sick as well. This is it. They're all gonna be ill. So sad. <laughs> so guys, what do we have here? Well, Howard came back, which is really good. It was a bit scary to see him like that in the space, you know, him losing his mind. But I guess that's what happens up there. Maybe Howard not as experienced astronaut, you know? And that's why he's losing his mind, basically. Because other ones seem pretty... Like, I mean, other astronauts, they seem alright. Because I guess they been doing it for longer and all the stuff yeah i feel kind of sad when he came back and everybody was a bit busy <laughs> i don't know he was looking forward for this moment you know when he comes back everybody's happy bernadette is happy but bernadette is ill <laughs> his friends just like doing their stuff but i hope in the next episode they're gonna say something you know a little party like welcome back party or something and children gonna say congratulations to howard and we're gonna see how face <laughs> because he's gonna be shocked and yeah god that was so funny and especially the moment when leonard penny sheldon and amy were playing the games so good i love sheldon he's like so smart but when it comes to basic things <laughs> he's so slow and he makes it like so complicated but that's why it makes it even funnier so good uh, season 6 is going really good so far. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!